Hey guys, Josh here from Testing One to Three Reviews, and today I'm giving you a run through uh, of the Blackstar HT60, part of the Venue series. Fantastic amplifier with some great features, and I'm going to be uh, give you some sound clips with my Gibson Les Paul Custom with the John Sir Doug Aldrich humbuckers and also my Fender Strat with uh, Lindy Fraylin and DiMaggio pickups and I'm just going to give you a close up of the front and back panel and a taster of some of the very nice tones you can get from this brilliant amplifier enjoy so here's the front panel of the Blackstar HT Club 40 starting from right to left we have the on and standby switch we then have an overall master volume and then a control for our digital reverb and now we move on to the EQ section and then from right, left to right we've got bass, middle, treble and this one here which is called ISF. Now ISF stands for infinite shape feature. Basically it's um, a way of getting different voicings for the amplifier so if I set it to the left we're getting a more USA voicing, so uh, very, uh, cl very uh, luscious, clean sh sounds, and then very high gain distortion. And then move it to the right, we're getting a more of a UK classic grind uh, sort of tone. And then if you put it in the middle, you can get kind of the best of both worlds, really. And uh, I was very impressed with what this control does. Uh, hopefully, it will be um, clear on the camera, but I'm not sure. But it, you can definitely hear it when you're sitting right next to the amplifier. And then after the EQ section we have the overdrive uh, controls, we have a gain knob and a volume control. And then we have this little switch in the middle called the voice switch which uh, gives you a bit more gain. And then you've got the button to switch uh, from the clean channel to overdrive channel. And then we've got the controls for the clean channel which is very simple, just a volume, another voice switch and a tone knob. Now the voice switch on the clean channel uh, brightens up guitars that have humbuckers so um, I'll show you in a moment with my Les Paul what that does for that and then we have the input for the guitar and the foot switch is also very simple it's just a channel select indicated by a very bright red LED and then your reverb on and off which is a green has a green LED there now let's move on to the back panel back panel uh, this is an EL34 um, tube amplifier sounds great and uh, got the power cable here and we've got the speaker connectors this uh, combo comes with a Celestion speaker it sounds very very nice with this amp and you've also got the option of adding extra cabs with these two speaker outputs here we have an emulated out which is a very useful feature for recording at home and we have our reverb control a dark and light switch to make it obviously darker or lighter and here we have the effects loop which I've got my MXR carbon copy delay running through and it also has this level control. When the switch is pushed out, you get a plus four decibel boost whenever you switch your delay unit on. And then we've got our input jack for our foot switch. So that's it. Let's move on to some sound. Okay, so here are some clean sounds with my strap. I have a DiMaggio HS3 in the bridge and two Lindy Freeland Blue Specials in the middle of the neck. And here are some nice clean sounds. The ISF control is set at noon, as are the rest of the EQ controls. <laughs> Sound, fill it back to where it was, and I'll 
I've moved the ISF control towards 9 o'clock, so this should be on the more USA side of things, so hopefully it will pick up on the camera. <laughs> side of things so it's around three o'clock on the dial and it sounds something like this playing the, the same riff before <laughs> It's a bit um, twangier, I suppose, on the uh, British side of things, and it's a lot uh, smoother and jangly on the American setting. So I'll just put it back to the American. <laughs> Hopefully you get my point. Now I'm just going to uh, hold a chord and then engage the voice switch on the clean channel. <laughs> It makes the Stratocaster a little bit warmer, less jangly, which is quite nice. And then um, with the Les Paul, somehow it brightens it up, to my ears anyway. And so it makes my Les Paul a lot more versatile, so I don't have to switch guitars. I can just click the pickup switch and have that voice switch switched in, so I can get a brighter sound out of my Les Paul. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the overdrive sound. The voice switch is not engaged, and I'm going to start off with no reverb, and the drive is set at 12 o'clock, and I'm on the bridge pickup of my Strat. <laughs> about this amplifier is it's very dynamic so I can go from this so that was the same pickup selection I just rolled down the volume on my guitar and it gets a very nice clean sound and to go even further with that you can change the pickup position Now I'm going to again hold a chord <clears throat> and then engage the voice switch so you can hear that it gives you a little bit more gain. <laughs> about one or two o'clock and here's what it sounds like. <laughs> That's what it sounds like with the strap. I'm going to move on to the Les Paul where I can show you some more heavier sort of sounds with different tunings and enjoy. 